Well, hello there, Shelly Rocks here. Welcome back to Super World Box on the PC. So, uh, you know, the last video, last couple of videos I did for this seem to go down pretty good. So, welcome to Europe. This is a uh, map created by someone in the community. This was done by um, someone called Stider. Um, hope I said your name right. Um, and yeah, and I've also got added onto this a mod which is done by uh, someone called Ken, and this is the Chaos Mod V2, which has a uh, it has a number of features. So we're gonna go ahead and show some of these features off. So let's try and get uh, the world populated a little bit. So I'm gonna stick some. Uh, we seem to have a lack of vegetation over here at the moment. I do think it has an effect on whether people settle. So, gonna drop some food and a few little plants over here. So that's a little bit tempting. And then we're gonna have. Oh, we're gonna go to rules as well. I want to make sure we. Ex Wait a minute. That's that's completely not the right thing. Oh, it's the scroll, isn't it? I always forget that one. Right, we're gonna make everyone friends. We're all gonna be BFFs at the start. So, Ireland is going to have, let me unpause it, yeah, Ireland is going to have uh, elves, I'm going to stick down two for each one, uh, the uh, UK, or Great Britain, however you want to call it, we're going to, actually it's, it is Great Britain, it's the uh, United, or is it, no, it's United Kingdom, oh, I'm terrible, uh, anyway. So we've got those two set up now, and then over here we are gonna uh, gonna throw down a few rain clouds to try and encourage a bit of a uh, rain growth all the way across, just to get this sped up a little bit. Because you can see, as you can see, it's it's a lot of planes and it's not a lot of stuff at the moment, but there is mysterious rain clouds approaching that look very much like lava. Yes. <laughs> they are lava clouds. They can land and they do land and they cause many problems. Right. I'm going to try and settle down here with some dwarf. Will the dwarves settle down here, I wonder? Ooh. We've got an award. It's not really tempting over here, though, is it? Yeah, let's do some cacti over here and a few. A little bit of food for them as well. What food do you, do you get in the desert? Okay, that'll do. So, we've got a few uh, villages put down now. I think we've got one for every race. We've got elves, we've got humans, we've got the orcs, and we've got the dwarves down here. Now, this is a, an absolutely ridiculously massive thing to build, so I'm going to try and build... Let's do elves over there. We'll just drop one this time, and you'll see why in a minute. Whoa. One lot of humans there, and maybe orcs up there. Are you going to settle? Where are you going? I literally don't know where he's going. Why would you, why would you not settle there? Anyway, let us talk about some of the things this mod does. So... Um, one of the first things it, it does, as I mentioned, is these clouds. These uh, occasionally drop down flaming uh, lava, and it's an absolute pain. Uh, one of the big things is now is demons, um, they set burn tiles instead of fires. Uh, the cold ones don't set down uh, massive loads of, like, cold areas. Um, zombies will throw randomly bits of fire around, which is a pain. <laughs> um, demons turn to zombies when they die. Um, villages don't attack other villagers. Other vi village buildings. Let's drop another orc down there. Okay, uh, Santa doesn't fly apparently. And piranhas are a little bit weird in this now as well. So, let me find a town. Okay, over here. Right, let's drop a piranha on the ground. Yeah, piranhas can actually go on the ground now. Uh, okay, we're fighting it. Um, now, the flaming thing you see in here, I think this is an effect from... I'm, try I'm trying to put the fire out. I'm trying to put the fire out. I'm trying. Okay, I think my humans are dead. 
Yeah, you'll see what you'll see why there, Dad. In a second, you should see him moving around. There you go. You can just about glimpse him in the flames. That is actually a zombie. And zombies set those flames, and they are a pain. Now, when things die in this game, now there's a chance that something will actually turn into a zombie. So, once something dies, you will get zombies spawning. So, as you can see, that's just spawned dirt and completely wrecked that area. Okay. Let's cheat. Let's add a little few more humans to catch up. Okay, now, one of the cool things that you can do now is the speed up mode. So, if you do the hourglass now, there's different speed modes for this. So, if we click on this, you start seeing this go, uh, you know, yeah, that's quite fast. If we click on it again, wait a minute, we're going even faster. So, there's like a double speed for all of these. So, the fastest you can go is this. So look, you can just literally see everything getting built up here. There you go, up to 10 people, 12 people. You can see things uh, spreading out and building. You can see, look, the humans are building up. Got the elves building up. How are the orcs doing? Wait a minute, they're, they're not the orcs. Where are the orcs? Did he spread down here? Now, as this is on like the uh, the pass, not pass fist. This is on the um, empires won't attack each other. So these are just gonna grow. So you can imagine how fast this is gonna get these built up now. So we shall try and do a few more things once we've got a few more things in place. So we're just gonna let this build up at the moment. They seem to be dying off over here. I don't know. Uh, they're not doing too good. We're down to eight people, nine, ten, eleven. All right, we're back up again. Now, we shouldn't have any natural elements attacking us at the moment, apart from these lava things. I don't know if these spawn lava or if they just look like lava. But as you can see, look at this. Look how much we are spreading now. That is pretty cool. I think this is the fastest we can go. If we want to go back to normal, we go to one speed. I think it was 50 times faster on this speed. Yeah, that is literally as fast as we can go. We are getting some massive growth on all of these. Uh, babies as well fight. So when a village spawns people, the babies will actually fight. Um, one of the things it says is cats don't attack back, which <laughs> seems a bit of a strange thing to do. Uh, dragons will now attract other dragons. UFOs will attack other UFOs. And Robot Santas will attack other Robot Santas. They've got rid of the tutorial as well. And when you spawn a dragon, it will immediately attack the uh, the area that you drop it on. So let, I'll show you the cold ones now. So let's drop a cold one. Just to show you how they don't actually spread out and ruin the area. So who's going to be good to fight this? We want someone fairly big. Uh, what about Gedgok? There we go. As you can see, no more freezing cold off these. Let's see if we can run them off. Go on. Oh, see? Now he turned into a zombie. So the way you can combat the zombies, the flames, it's a pain. You, you have to put the flames out straight away like this with a divine thing. Otherwise, the whole thing will burn. And I think that's until a zombie is killed. I'm trying to stop him from getting that village. Okay, I think we need some... Uh, <laughs> we need some rain to help us. So although zombies are good, I don't like... I don't particularly like the flames because... How are you supposed to stop that? Come on. Come on, don't ruin everything. That is going to ruin everything. Okay, we'll just for giggles, we'll just uh, we'll speed it up. Then I'll show you how how it can go from bad to worse. So let's speed this up. So as you can see, we've got the flames there. Now it might burn itself and out itself out in little bits, and otherwise, look, that is just spreading. That is just spreading everywhere. And look, once once these. Uh, Oh, the flames, we might be okay with the flames there, but look, just wrecked all of that land. Dang it. Right, 
So let's uh, let's have a little look at some of the other uh, monsters then. So dragons now apparently are three times faster. So let us try that theory out then. And it says the attack the earlier that you drop it, drop them in. So who's who's the biggest kingdom on here? Okay, we've got a uh, Vuketod. Let's uh, let's uh, drop a little dragon in. See how you like it. Yeah, so these are ridiculously fast now. Ow. So you might want to help out a little bit and put out the fires. It looks like he's... It's gone now. We're safe. We're safe. It's gone. It's gone to pick on someone else. Now, the interesting thing is he will actually attack, attack each other, the dragons. So as you can see, we've got that dragon over here. Let's uh, wait for him to try and attack someone. And then we're going to drop in a bit of a dragon surprise. Is he going to Ireland? No. Where's he going? I think, I reckon he'll be going over here. Yes. Let's drop another dragon in. Don't you be coming near my land. Ah, oh, no. They're not attacking each other. Where's he going? Okay. <laughs> he's, he's setting up home up there. Now, UFOs apparently attack other UFOs. So let's drop a couple of these. Now, are they going to go for each other? They seem to be going up towards the corner. Okay, we're going to see it. No, I don't, I don't think... I literally don't think there's anything up there. I don't know why you've gone all the way up there. <laughs> what on earth? Did that blow up? Did we kill it? I'm not sure if that dived and blew up or if it was like an attack and it got out of the way. It what it did take a few little hits then. Yeah, wow. Pretty pretty nasty. Okay, as it's getting into the festive period now and I've been ruining all this for long enough, let's send in a bit of a Santa. Let's send a couple. Are they gonna attack each other? Um That's not quite what I had, <laughs> I had in mind. Let's try a, uh, a flock of piranhas. Okay, the, fr the, pr the piranhas now turning into zombies. So what would be a good way of mass killing a load of people to get a lot of zombies? I was thinking maybe acid rain. Would that, would that be a, a good thing to kill them? Can we not? It's pity we can't do like a noxious gas or something. I mean, we could drop a uh, bombs. What would happen if we dropped like a, a grenade on a town? See, that's destroying them. It's not. It's not great. Not instant zombies. Let's try the demons then, because these have been buff, buffed, buffed, I believe. So they turn into a zombie when they die. And it also says they set burn they set burn tiles instead of fire. Okay, you just turned into a zombie. Now there was one more thing I wanted to show you. Um, I'm trying to think what it was. Now I think it was the bandits. It says the bandits don't throw anything, so that's going to be quite interesting. So does that does that mean these no longer throw TNT? Can we literally just spawn a load of these? To try and wreck a town. Oh, we can, but they turn, they turn into zombies. It's all going a bit wrong. So let us just ruin this land by it. Let's just spawn a load of Santas. Let's see if I can make the frame rate of my computer break. Okay, it seems to it seems to be handling it fairly well. But yeah, anyway, that is Super World Box. And that is the mods, the mods of um, Ken and the map of Stider. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to see more of this custom content, let me know. If you've got any ideas for scenarios as well, also let me know. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.